Turkish Aerospace Industries is working on new unmanned aircraft technology alongside the TFX National Combat Aircraft or MMU, in which artificial intelligence serves as a second pilot, the company's general manager said Tuesday, according Daily Saba. Temel Kotal's remarks came during the management development program, which was prepared by Saha Istanbul for companies operating in the defense, aviation and space sectors. Stating that the company is carrying out three aircraft, six helicopters, two unmanned aerial vehicles and target aircraft projects, Kotal said that they also continue their satellite projects. He pointed out that their most important project is the MMU, noting that besides some 3,000 Thai personnel needed for the project, an additional 3,000 personnel will be needed by other companies that will contribute. The Thai top official explained that there is only one pilot in the fifth-generation aircraft and the AI acts as the second pilot, underlining that the MMU is a more intelligent aircraft with this feature. The MMU's engine will be ready in 2023, and the plane will be ready to fly in 2025. It will then be delivered to the Turkish Air Force, he underlined. What would Turkey achieve when this project is completed? Something that the US has achieved, Kotil added. The engine has been developed by Turkey's indigenous engine production company TR Motor, a joint company of the Thai and another Turkish defense firm SS Tech, Kotil said, stressing that support from other companies is required to develop peripheral and subcomponents of the engine. The landing gears will be jointly made by an Italian and Turkish company. Turkey will own its intellectual rights, the climate control systems will be produced in Turkey and Ankara must completely own the plane to make it national, he said. Competitors are aware that Turkey and the Thai are strong players, he underlined, saying, if they gave the license of the F-35, we would make two units per month as the Thai. The important thing is the license, the intellectual property rights. Otherwise, we have the capability to make the F-35 right now. We have been trying to make the MMU as local as possible from the very beginning. Everything all its parts must be indigenous and national to sell it to friendly countries. We have no choice but to spread out this process over a span of time, including the engine production," Kotil added. Explaining that there will be no clear distinction between manned and unmanned aircraft and the two applications will be used together, Kotil said, the fifth-generation fighter jet will be an important device for the defense of the country. With the project, important physical infrastructure will be gained, and the training of 6,000 aircraft engineers will be an important advantage. We want to make a beautiful plane. It is a very secondary issue that will be manned and unmanned. It already has artificial intelligence in it. Asked about whether they have an agenda to fly F-16s without a pilot, Kotil said, we are not flying F-16s without pilots, but we are working on other aircraft. F-16s are the backbone of the Air Force. Kotil, meanwhile, also added that there is a need for a low-cost civil aircraft with a 60-person capacity in the world. However, the Thai is currently not available to produce such aircraft because the projects the MMU, the Advanced Jet Trainer and Light Attack Aircraft Herjet, new versions of Herkus aircraft, helicopters and UAVs it is carrying out are already enough. But there is a need for such a plane, he said in that it could see very high demand, whether it is built in Turkey or elsewhere. 